Hi, my name is Tiffany Yomer, and I am the admissions counselor here at Willow Gray Opportunity School. I would like to take this moment to go over a few things about our program and pretty much get you oriented for your on-site interview with us. Of course, we are a 14-week quasi-military style residential program, and we would like for the students to most definitely work on and focus getting their GED. We actually have four platoons here. We have one platoon of girls and three platoons of guys. Of course, how the platoons are laid out is pretty much how the kids actually go to school as well. The girls actually go to school with girls and the guys have classes with guys. There is typically no mix and mingle, so that's how we keep their focus and making sure that they are reaching their goal of getting their GED. They actually go to school between Monday through Friday between 8.30 and 3.45. Of course, on Fridays, they have a half day, which goes into the weekend, which is pretty daggone well, if you ask me. The activities and um, field trips, they typically have those on the weekends, but of course, those are privileges, and as always, privileges are earned. Keep in mind that you need to be here and make sure you're focused and do what you're told and when you're told and how you're told, and you'll be able to work on going on those field trips and enjoying yourself on the weekends. We do not have in-school suspension, so if any event that a student is written up, they will actually be placed on the red list. And if they are placed on the red list, then they work out for two hours after school. Actually, we call it on the hill, and you do not want to work out for two hours after school. I know as far as when the spring and summer hits here in South Carolina, it is hot. And of course, being outside working out that long period of time, that's no fun. So please keep in mind, the moral of the story is, do not get written up. Students, please make sure that if you're actually struggling in any subject here, make sure you ask for assistance because that's what our teachers are here for. They have the passion to make sure that you guys are getting your education. So if you have a problem with anything, please ask. They are there to help you. Also, additionally, we actually have a medical department and a counseling department here. Of course, each student is assigned a counselor, so if you actually have anything going on with you while you're here as far as working on anger management or any anxiety or you just feel a little sad or you just want to vent about something that's you know personal, please make sure you vent with your counselor about those things. Keep in mind, we do not allow students to actually bring in their electronic devices. So I know how important it is for our young folks to actually be so attached to your cell phones, but we do not allow students to bring those items when they're accepted into our program. So please do not bring them on registration day. In the event that you do try to bring them in, we will search your bag and of course we will return those items to your parents. We also would like to let you guys know, of course going through this program can be tough and can be hard for each student. We would like for families to keep in mind that it can be difficult and as far as, you know, the adjustment, that's the reason why we have counseling here for them, you know, to help vent. But the first two weeks that the student is here of our program, they do not have any privileges actually as far as to make any phone calls home. After those first two weeks, they're able to get a phone call home on the weekends for 10 minutes. During those first two weeks, they are able to write and receive letters, as many letters as they like. So, of course, I always take it back old school, letting you guys know that if you need the little problem as far as working on your ELA, this is the perfect time. I know, again, like I said before, it can be very difficult, but I also task the assignment to each of the parents to make sure you write your um, students while they're here. It's great to actually have that external support while they're here, and it's great to actually, you know, be able to send love through the mail. So please, 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 parents, please write them while they're here. It's great to have that support while they're here, like I said before. Also, when you guys are sending letters in or sending care packages, please do not send any snacks through the mail. You have to keep in mind that we do have students who are allergic to certain things, and of course, we try to make sure that we control the environment as best way as possible. So please make sure you do not send those snacks. We are here for the students every step of the way. We are here from start to finish. We do have graduation ceremony that's typically in the summertime. Of course, if a student passes all four sections of the GED, they are welcome to most definitely participate in those ceremonies. But in the event that a student is not able to pass all four sections of the GED, then of course, they're able to invite themselves back and of course, finish up where they left off. So for example, if a student passes three sections of the GED, and of course they did not pass one, they will come back for the next following cycle, pretty much and uh, work on that one subject only, and then we'll work towards you know, getting them to the finish line so they can be able to have a successful completion of the GED itself. Otherwise, I think this might be everything as far as I need to go with you guys. If you have any questions or concerns at the end of this video, please let us know and we will address them at the end of the interview. I hope this information is helpful and you guys have a great day.